Post game day one with the victorious Red Storm of Dixie State, a 7-5 victory over St. Martin's. Joining us for the post game news conference from left to right, senior pitcher Michelle Duncan, head coach Randy Simpkins, and senior second baseman Nikki Chavez. Coach, some opening thoughts on this ball game tonight. Yeah, anytime you get in the tournament, it's survive in advance, you know. So obviously, you know, we're really pleased with the win. Um, played really, really well. You know, last inning, obviously, you give up a couple, of, you know, a few runs that we didn't want to. Um, you know, a few bad hops, a few, you know, kind of plays that we probably should have been out of the inning a little earlier than we did. But you know, you know, credit to them for not giving up. Um, and you know, I, I thought Duncan threw the ball extremely, extremely well. Um, it's really hard as a pitcher to, you know, sit, start, sit, start. You know, be able to warm up, cool down, warm up, cool down. So you know, I just threw the ball really well. Um, they've got some kids that can really swing it, and you know, she kept them at bay. You know, and, and they didn't really hit very many balls hard all that long. So we were really pleased with that. Michelle will ask the obvious question: How many times in your career have you thrown the first four pitches of a ball game and gotten four outs? <laughs> I mean, I played a lot of games, but that was nice to just go out there and, you know, only throw three pitches. Take us through the mindset in the seventh inning. Obviously, this first six did a nice job of keeping their hitters at bay, but what was different about that seventh inning? Um, I mean, they just, you know, hit the ball, they put it in play, you know, just got a little blue pits. That's about it. And they didn't give up. Go to Nicole and take us through your swing, the one that ended up going out, obviously, in the sixth inning. Two on, chance to, with something in the gap, put a couple RBIs on the board, but what did you see, what pitch did you see, and obviously the results on the end. Uh, it was an inside pitch and it was a little high, and um, I was just excited to hit my pitch, so it was fun. I was excited to get some runs on the board for my team. Questions? Uh, yeah, so for Nikki, uh, you know, your home run at the time, we were, you know, we're going, okay, we're, we're going to get eight runs here. But it turned out your home run was necessary to, to secure the victory. Uh, just talk about, you know, uh, uh, you know, playing every at bat like, like uh, you know, it's, it's uh, an important run, not just to get the game through. Do you understand? Like your question I'm asking. <laughs> Do you understand? You know, your home run actually, if they without it, you guys have to play another half inning. Oh, got it. I, it, I just always think team, team, team. I want to help out our team. That's my strategy when I go up to bat. First one is pitch selection. The second one is helping out my team if I can. Okay, coach. Uh, Fourteen hour turnaround. Uh, do you, were you planning on, on pitching dunk, or is that enough time? Um, yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how she feels. Uh, both of them warm up, you know, pretty well. Um, you know, she obviously has thrown the ball really, really well against Cal Baptist. We haven't made a decision. I'll talk to her a little bit tonight. We'll talk to Aaron. You know, and we'll see how they, they warm up in the morning. Um, you know, she, she threw the ball extremely well against Cal Baptist this year. Um, both times she's thrown, and so did Aaron. You know, so we feel comfortable no matter who we throw. Um, we'll see how she feels t today. You know, even though she, you know, threw more in the last inning that, that she wanted, you know, she's still not. You know, she didn't have to throw 130 or 140 pitches, so we're we're fine. You know, she she could go if, she, if we need to, but we'll, we'll see how things go in the morning. Um, Michelle, just knowing how competitive you are, just are you doing okay? Like, we feel yeah, like I am. Yeah. Yeah. Got the W. That's all that matters. <laughs> Um, just uh, any adjustments that they were making out there specifically that to jump on some of the pitches you were throwing out? I mean, they see me like, what, third time or fourth time? Yeah, fourth time. So when you see a pitcher, you know, you understand, like, the movement, you know, and if, if I threw it to her the first pitch and I, you know, I threw it to her again, then she just jumps on it. And they're obviously an aggressive team. Like, you know, so they were just looking for that one pitch and just put it in play. Uh, Coach uh, Courtney Hine, whenever she had her uh, her two run double, uh, just, what what was her approach that she was having there? Courtney Courtney has been the benefactor of more hitters counts this year than anybody in the country. 
she's been in a 2-0 and or a 3-1 and count more times than anybody does in a career. And you know what? If you get yourself into a hitter's count like that, you're going to be successful. And she was. You know, she got a two and L count. I think when the, the pitch that she hit was a two and L count, got a ball up and in. And you know, that, that's the one thing. Courtney's been a really good hitter for us for a long time. But I think the last year and a half, the last part of last year, and then all of this year, she's been done a much better job of being able to hit that inside pitch a lot. You know, she used to be you know middle out forever. Forever, and she just take the inside pitch. But man, she if she hit one at Cal Baptist, three run home run. You know that, that really got us going down there. It was an inside pitch. She hit that one really well as an inside pitch. So you know, and then the last half of last year, we played Central Washington here in regionals, and she had a couple of inside pitches out. You know, so you know she's she's really tough to throw to because she can hit balls to all fields. She uses the whole field really well. So, but you know, just like just like Nikki, you know, Nikki. Ball she hit out was a two and zero or three. What I don't know if it was two and zero or two and one, but she was ahead in the count there. You know, so you get a pitch that you you can handle. You know, when when you're hitting in hitters counts, you're going to be successful. Final question: Pack West foe awaits at 11 a.m. Just going with Nikki and going down the line. A couple of words on the rivalry, the competition, the high level of softball Excited. between Dixie State and Cal Baptist. <laughs> I'm excited for tomorrow. I can't wait to play tomorrow and not be able to sleep tonight. It's going to be a really good game. It's going to be a tough game. I feel like it's going to be a bang bang every inning. Coach? Yeah, we, you know, no secrets. You know, we, we, you play each other four times a year. You know, you see each other in the preseason. You, you, you know, you, these kids grow up playing travel ball with and against each other, so they know each other really well. Um, it's just going to come down to execution. You know, who, who's able to execute? Who's able to you know put some runs across in key situations? You know, a couple of two out hits or something like that is going to be going to be key tomorrow. And then if it comes out harder. Put yourself in the spot where you want to be in the winner's bracket. Good luck tomorrow at 11 a.m. against Cal Baptist. Thanks, Thanks guys. So. Good night.